Welcome back guys to another video. Today we're gonna teach you step by step how you can export your transaction data from Trust Wallet so you can prepare for your taxes. It's actually very easy to do and with the help of the software like Coin Tracking, we can import the wallet addresses and then automatically sync up with our portfolio management and later on do the tax report. Let's jump in into our Coin Tracking website and our account and then we are on the dashboard. All right. We have to open up our Trust Wallet app, so we see it up here. If you use it in a mobile device, it is pretty much the same. You only have to copy your wallet address. So if we are Ethereum, then we copy our Ethereum address. To get to our Ethereum address, we have to click on Receive, and there's our Ethereum address. All the coins we have on the Ethereum network will also be included, so our USDT um, wallet doesn't have a like, specific extra wallet address, it is all in the Ethereum network, so each network has its own wallet address in your uh, one account. Okay, so now we have to go into coin tracking, then go to enter coins, go into blockchain imports, and then go to Ethereum. Once we are here, then you can scroll down and paste your Ethereum address in it. Then label it by trust. Trust wallet one. And then we can simply import all the Ethereum transactions. Once done, coin tracking will confirm that the job has been saved with a green big box. Down here we can see our job which is saved, which is the working Ethereum address and it will import all our coins which we hold in our Ethereum address. If you trade other coins on different networks, then simply follow the steps I showed you in Ethereum, copy the wallet address and then go to the network which you are using. For example, if you use Binance Smart Chain, then copy the wallet address into the field given here. Again, give it an exchange name and import the Binance Smart Chain wallet. Let's see if our Ethereum wallet has imported. Yes, it has imported correctly. And now if we go into enter coins, we will see the transactions we have for our Ethereum wallet. Search Ethereum, now it was trust wallet. And we see our transactions, which we did in our trust wallet. Once all your wallet addresses are imported, go to balance by exchange. It's here by reporting and then balance by exchange and then compare your balances to the one in trust wallet to ensure that you have the correct balances in coin tracking. Let's see, we have be way below uh, 0.01 Ethereum. This is MetaMask, this is Trust Wallet. And then we see yeah, well below 0 0.0001. That's correct. And that's about 8 cents. And Trust Wallet tells us our value is about 8 cents. Okay, we have to correct data in our account. Now we can go to the tax report and generate our tax report. Now we are in the crypto tax report site where we can generate our tax report. But before we have to set up the tax report with some options and settings. So for the country, we select our country, in our case it's Germany, but there's a variety you can choose from. Then for the tax method, we use first in first out, but again, there are a lot of tax options you can choose from and depending on your situation, choose the right taxation method. Then for the tax year, we use 23 as our tax year, but again, depending on your trading behavior, there will be many different years uh, to choose from and depending on your need, generate the tax year you need. Then for the filters, you can include and exclude specific transaction types if you want to. Then previous trades, consider all previous trades in the report. This is an option you should leave on. Then you can use the deposit separation tax slots if you want to or not. And you can group all purchases by day and group all search by day. If you have a lot of transactions in your account, this will speed up the generation process of the tax report. Once all done and you have your settings in, we can generate a new tax report. Once you have generated new tax report, you will see in the bottom the total capital gains and the year of the taxation, the taxation method. And if you want to see more information about your tax report, simply click load report. This is a much more detailed view of the report. And once it's loaded up, we will see all the details about the report. The details have loaded and now we can see how much capital gains we had, how much income we had. And if you scroll down, you will see even more details line by line, transaction by transaction, what you exactly did, how much you profited off it or lost on it. We see the income, we see the gift donations, the fee report, the lost and stolen, the closing positions. We have everything in this report. And if you need to submit your report, then simply scroll up and go to download to end this report and then simply click download PDF or download Excel and then you can submit it or give it to your CPA and move from there on. We hope this video was helpful to you and if there are any open questions, please leave them down in the comments and we will happily 
answer all the comments for you. We wish you happy trading and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.